Good morning, Taurus. We got to see what is going on in your energy today. We got to see what the T is. I just did Aries. Very uh, different reading. A lot of uh, Empress, Magician. Uh, <clears throat> Taurus is right next to Aries. So this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising. You could just have Taurus in your chart or you could be watching for a Taurus. I'm just going to do, you know, find out what's going on with uh, what the scoop is, what, what the energy is like, reading people's energy with these cards. Um, if you resonate, you'll know where to put each person. My name is Kelly from Mystical Madness Healing, in case this is somebody just popping on for the first time. And I appreciate your views and your likes and everything. And here we go. Ace of Cups. <laughs> that flew out, too. That wanted to fly out. Ace of Cups, Taurus. Wow. Here they are. Okay. Now, I go four across. So, I, I, I'll clarify these after. So, this is somebody could have put burdens on you. Or you could have put a... You could be putting a lot of burdens on yourself at the time. Um, you or somebody you know. That's just... I'm just going to get the four before I start gabbing. <laughs> okay, now we got the lovers in the same position that it came out for Aries. The first reading I tried to do that would not go through. Okay, I'm being guided to take this little packet that flew out too. So we got the devil, Capricorn energy, devilish energy, um... Again, just energies, but you know they're not. They're they're you know. When I say energy, I'm talking about the energy of the person. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the tower, the tower moment is this Ace of Cups for some reason, and with the burden, um, the Ten of Wands, uh, overly burdened or. You just went through a, a uphill battle and you're kind of moving away from it. Okay. And and this is clarifying the burden. So you could be uh, healing from this. Or spirit saying get some rest and, you know, kind of rejuvenate yourself for this new beginning all right spirit please clarify the lovers please clarify this lovers card for taurus holy spirit please and thank you wow the wheel the wheel of fortune and the lovers wish a new cycle a new cycle so you could either be ending a a cycle of your in your life, meaning you know you could be walking away from from a uh, somebody who just was in this devil toxic and addi addictions energy. You could be, um, or you could be starting a new cycle with the lovers here and the Ace of Cups. Uh, that that's the new cycle, but. Endings, I'm just showing an example that this means endings and new beginnings, cycles. The cycle of life is turning, you know, in your favor when you get the wheel. It's not, it's a good cycle is what I'm saying. I mean, you got the Ace of Cups right off the bat in this reading. Even though this devil energy is here, um, somebody could have been manipulating you. He has, he's like a puppeteer. Whoever this was, was trying to control you and run your life. Or there could be actual addictions here or were addictions here. Toxic mindsets even. But there's a new cycle and a new beginning here. Okay, yep, Some uh, this person, um, the Capricorn or the devil energy or a Capricorn, um, could have been hidden secrets, hidden things happen in the, in the dark. I feel like this this energy did things in the dark uh, at night. All 
All right, I gotta clarify this tower. Wait. Um, okay, I'm being guided to stick with the bottom of the deck. So now we'll just see this Nine of Cups. This is a complete success and happiness and, and, and all. Look at the gold on there, right? And it's like taking a leap of faith. But the, all right, well, blah, 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 blah. the tower could be that you gained you you've done this you've done the work you you have created success for you that could be one scenario or the tower on the tower and the ace of cups is like a reveal i i think all right so that's one thing i'm getting is that you could have the tower could be that you got this success or the tower could be that somebody tried to ruin your success mess with your work or mess with this ace of cups and i know i i feel like i'm speaking the truth here because now on the four of swords we got the five of swords that's mental that's conflict drama people talking about you gossip catfishing you um going against you mis misjudging you giving you a headache uh you know what i mean in that this whole role the burdens the heartbreak or rest after some kind of heartbreak so that could be what this this was too this tower moment you could have somebody could have uh, broke your heart here you know fives are change definitely changes needed to be made here Okay, so now with the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles. That's that's an offer of some kind of job or money coming in uh, or of just a message. You could be receiving a message. Um, if somebody did try to mess with your money here, you could be receiving a message and maybe things will go in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Or this could be a person or a message coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, jeez, I was supposed to stick with the bottom of the deck, right? And I accidentally went to shuffle, but this flew out. So somebody could be watching you, um, watching everything you're doing. Could be this Capricorn, this devil energy who um, was doing things in the dark or hiding things. They could be keeping watching you, or this could just, you could just have a lot of different ideas. This is also communication maybe from a air sign, or an air sign could have, had a hand in this because it's falling on the moon card maybe um you were learning a new you were getting educated here or this this could have threw you into learning and getting a new idea and but have heavily usually the page, page of swords is somebody watching you that doesn't mean, always mean in a creepy way. It could, however, you could have somebody watching you on social media and stuff like that. Or you could just have somebody watching you because of this new beginning coming in. Yeah. Now this, not, now, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. There was a reason why I did that shuffle. Uh, that page of sword needed to come out. But I'm still being guided to go with the bottom of the deck. And, and the nine of swords is... Somebody could have stabbed you in the back nine times. Or this could be, you know, just Gemini also.
even through all that, you were being uh, protected up there with that light coming through. And also, nine, nine could be significant because there's two nines here. But, okay. Hold on, I was going to say, say something else. I forgot I'm on Taurus right now. So, you could be seeing 99919. The tower moment could be, you know, um, like kind of like breaking it all down like your you know justice on this nine of swords the tower now i'm like where the heck did this nine of swords I, we knew there was something some kind of breakup or something in the past right taurus but <clears throat> the tower on the ace of cups and the lovers I feel like the tower needed to come down here for this Ace of Cups to come in. And th don't forget, this Nine of Swords is in the past. Way down at the bottom of the deck, it's in the past, but still needs to come out um, as a reminder. <laughs> okay. You went through a death and a rebirth as, as a result of this, um, whatever people were doing, whatever burdens people were putting on you. You still, you had a rebirth. Or that could mean death to this five of swords, this conflict, these burdens. Yeah, that, that's more what I'm getting here. Death to that. And you are moving forward with the lovers here and the, uh, new, the new cycle for this new beginning. You're moving forward with the chariot card. Oh my God, my ears are ringing big time. So I feel like I'm definitely saying the truth on this lovers, this Ace of Cups and this new cycle. This could have been very difficult for you, but there's fast movement coming in, fast forward movement with this Page of Pentacles. Yep, this took a lot of strength. And that's with this, whoever was causing you this, these burdens, it took a lot of strength. You could be have a lot of Leo in your chart, or you could just be very, very strong person. Could have tattoos. All right. We... Ten of Swords, we already know. There's a Nine of Swords here. There's Five, five of Swords. We already know the... That you had a ten of swords in the past. But you have had enough. That's why the tower needed to come down for this this new beginning. This this new beginning, this ace of cups could be something from the universe. Just overflowing love from the universe. But we got the lovers here. Ah, uh, okay. So, the Page of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles falling on the, uh, on the lovers. This could be a King of Pentacles coming in for this new beginning. Uh, Tor or this could be you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are, you know, the earth signs. But, I'm, and uh, this person could be very loyal with the dog there. Or you could be, and this caused you definitely this cat, this devil energy, whatever was done in the dark, caused you to go into hermit mode. Or this could be a Virgo. You could have Virgo, a lot of Virgo in your chart if you're a Taurus. The Empress and the Sun. Your wishes are coming true. You could be a star though. You could be a star here. Or somebody could. <laughs> wow. This came out in Aries. This came out in the Aries reading. Okay, hold on. Aries started with justice and ended with the sun card. Taurus started with Ace of Cups and is ending with the with wishes coming true. 
New Cycle, Nine of Pentacles, more success, more, uh, got your money good, and got a Page of Cups who wants to come in with a, maybe a small offer of, um, of love or some, of something, I'm not sure who this is. But the Page of Pentacles could also be the Page of Cups. But you could have two different people. That This is a water sign. Usually uh, in their emotions. Highly intuitive person though here. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. No more uh, being in your mind with the lack. Now we got the Ten of Cups. So, alright, I lied. I said I was going to end with the, the Sun. But I'm going to end, you start with the Ace of Cups and end with the Ten of Cups. Moving forward to this new beginning. After all this conflict and drama, this is another moving forward or moving away from, you know, what no longer serves you. And now we got a Knight of Cups. I almost wanted to say Nine of Cups. And... The star. Wow. Okay, so somebody could be a star here. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Very intuitive. You could have a lot of Aquarius in your chart. All right, let me get an oracle. The unicorn oracle for Taurus. Taurus, you did go through a lot here, but you're the empress. You you probably worked very hard to be get into this empress energy. You could be the star then. Okay. Something made me look down at the bottom to see what card was there. This is the balance card. Unfortunately, I have to use a magnifying glass. They're so tiny. Take time, love yourself, set healthy boundaries. You're a unicorn. You got it. You have to set those boundaries, especially after something like this. You could see all the the conflict and drama that you went through with the nine and the ten of swords and the the, the somebody put a lot on you in the past. Somebody, you know that you, from your past, that you could have walked away from. Even with the lovers, I sometimes think could be like a decision that you had to make that no longer, whatever no longer served you, you had to walk away from it, but you're being blessed now. But you got to keep that balance and gentleness. Sometimes that's hard for a Taurus because we come off as a, like a bull. Uh, that's for me it's more of a like a protection thing I had to be like that for a lot of years but I definitely um, would rather be kinder <laughs> than um, so use gentleness and we already know you had this expansion and intuition highly and highly intuitive a lot of it as the empress here all right let me shuffle these can you give me an oracle of Holy Spirit for Taurus? Which one does Taurus really need to? Celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. Everything gonna be all right. Let's celebrate to our Ace of Cups. Come on. All right, Taurus. Have a good one.